What's up, GI babies? It's your girl Tamara GI. We are back with another video. So, if you guys want to know how to achieve this hairstyle, make sure you guys stay tuned and keep watching. What's up, you guys? So, we're just starting with putting our oil on our rubber bands. And first, we're going to start this parting process. Now, for the parting, I didn't want my parts to be too small. I wanted them to be big because I didn't want to spend all day doing this because it was already, like, I think, like, 12 o'clock at night. And I wanted to get done really quick because it was only twist, so I wasn't expecting to be twisting my hair all day. So, as you guys can see, I'm just putting my hair in the sections. And then um, I just put some twist in there just so it can get out the way as I'm doing my parts. And um, I didn't really show the back because I was just trying to get done. So, I just wanted to show you guys just a gist of how I was parting my hair so you guys can know that it's not a lot of parts because this style wasn't meant to have a lot of parts in it period i wanted it to be very low maintenance so when you're first installing this you're going to need a crochet needle and you want to go ahead and crochet two strands of that pre-fluffed hair only two strands of it you'll see like the ends of them it'll let you know what is one strand and what's not so you want to take two strands of them that's the only thing that you need and um you guys are going to know before but i did use two packs of these so what you're going to do is just start twisting um this was an example i feel like i was kind of twisting the wrong way but um later on i went ahead and redid that one but even still twisting it this way it still looks really good um, so you just want to go ahead and just twist after that. I feel like this is very low maintenance because this is literally all you do. You just crochet the hair through and just go ahead and twist and just keep twisting. And for my ends, I just kind of twist it and just let it go because it's going to stay. So for the second one, I did do something differently and I decided that I wanted to do this for the rest of my head. So as you guys can see, I'm taking one little strand away from the rest of the pieces and I'm twisting it around my root so it can be very secure because that that first one I did I feel like it wasn't that secure so I was like let me just go ahead and twist it over so that will be the base and it'll be secure and I really like that I did that so after that I just gather that hair together with the rest of the hair and just begin twisting I don't twist that whole strand around my base because that's going to be like way too tight so I just twist it to my liking and then I go ahead and add that with the rest of the hair and begin twisting and I'm just giving you an up close and view on how the twist look like it's very easy this is a very easy hairstyle all you're literally doing is just adding the crochet hair in and twisting and these kind of give me like lock vibes a little bit that's why I really wanted to do these so um yeah all you're doing is just twisting your hair like this is literally one of the most easiest hairstyles anybody can do like you can literally have a quick hairstyle for school just like that this hairstyle is so easy to do so now that my hair is all done i am just doing my baby hair and um just kind of getting the style together And then afterwards, I'm just oiling my scalp, just making sure that my scalp is very saturated and it's not dry. And then this is how it looks in a banana clip. I just thought that was so cute. A claw clip. I said banana clip. And I'm just spraying some shine spray just to give it a little bit more shine. And then this was another day. I wanted to do these like little barrels on them. And I really love the way they came out. And this is really how I wore this style majority. And the good thing about this is you can take it out and then put them right back in like it's just literally so easy i love this style y'all like this is when i did them for the second time i did some barrels again and these just came out so cute like i just love these all right you guys so this is the final outcome for this hair i feel like it came out so cute and this is my favorite way to wear it my original thing i was going for was cuban twist so i feel like this might be the name of these cuban twists i feel like because i know i did marley twist like 
a while ago and it was kind of of the same texture but still kind of not like this and the purpose of me doing this hairstyle i wanted to do the twist but not like passion style i wanted them to still be looking a little more natural i did use the free chest braid pre-pluffed and um this is the pre-fluffed and then this is the pre-fluffed pop and twist in 28 inches and I used the whole 28 inches. I didn't cut anything off. I used the whole 28. And I feel like 28 inches is a good inch to like if you want to wear it out or if you want to do it like this. This is like the perfect lift. And you have like a lot of flexibility with hairstyles. I did actually buy seven packs looking at these other videos. And I only end up using two. And I kind of like these better than locks because like my parts are big and everything just looks really cute and it's real manageable and this only took me about two or three hours to do so that's not too bad you know if you guys want more information on this hairstyle make sure you guys comment down below and also if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any other natural hairstyles you would like me to do make sure you guys comment down below as well if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay bless you guys. I love you guys so much. Yeah, babies, we out.